Good morning and welcome back to Y254 in the morning. My name is Faith Msoli. And just in case you're joining us, it's WCW. On this segment, we celebrate the strength of a woman. And today in studio, we are speaking to Zipora Nyaboke. She was born with one hand and the father took off uh, when she was around eight years. But this has not, dream, has not deemed her dreams uh, in life. Uh, engage us on all our social media platforms at Y254 channel at Faith Soli. The hashtag is Y in the morning. Karibu sana. Asante sana Faith. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's a pleasure having you ah, this it's morning. A, it's my, the pleasure is all mine. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So who is Zipora Nyaboke? Uh, Zipora Nyaboke is a beautiful woman, uh -huh. <laughs> beautiful lady. I'm uh -huh. um, 22 years old, uh -huh. currently turning 23 in April. Uh -huh. mm, uh, I'm living with a disability, uh -huh. but I'm proud of the disability uh -huh. mm -hmm, because it has shown me several and several ways to be a better version of myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So where did you go to school? Oh yeah, I, I started, I studied at primary from those small, small schools. <laughs> uh, I went to high school in Sironga Girls High School. Mm -hmm. I went to campus in Pwani University where mm -hmm. I did diploma in computer science. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, practically that. Uh -huh. Wow. So how was life in school, it being that you <laughs> had to carry, you went to boarding school? Yeah, I went to boarding school. So how was life, like you, you had to carry your own water to uh -huh, the bathroom yeah. and all that? How was life in high school? Life was very interesting because, you know, you see, when, when you're little, mm -hmm. at around seven, at around class seven, class eight, you're supposed to go to boarding. Mm -hmm. So I was so eager waiting to go to boarding, but my mom was like, no. You just go to boarding on a high school or whatnot mm -hmm. and then i went to boarding in form one i was so excited i was mm -hmm. like this is now my space this is not going to be me mom mm -hmm. is not going to be around mm -hmm. you see i was experiencing that freedom that mm -hmm. rebellion and everything uh -huh. so in high school when people were crying that their parents have had left them to go home i was just so excited because it's going to be a new journey it's going to be a new experience without mom every every now and then she's there for me. Mm -hmm. uh, carrying water was just, it was just interesting, but I'd gotten used to doing a lot of chores at home. Mm -hmm. So carrying water was just normal. Mm -hmm. But the school that I went to, I, was the, I think I was the only person with a disability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've studied in uh, schools, not special schools, but just normal schools. Mm -hmm. I hate to say this, but normal, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like, I think the girl, I went to, uh, a girl high school mm -hmm. so the girls I think was so shocked like I could do a lot of stuff I remember mm -hmm. even the principal called me and she was like uh, how are you what's your name are you able to do no more things and then I'm like yeah I can do everything by my own mm -hmm. she was she was just so shocked that I can even wash the clothes myself mm -hmm. she even told the captain that no you should just be helping her yeah but it was just an interesting journey in high school, very, very, very much. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So you never faced like bullies, bullying you because of your state? <laughs> I don't think I was bullied. I think I bullied them more. Uh -huh. like <laughs> in, in primary, uh -huh. uh, people used to fear me. I don't know if it's fear or uh -huh. like, uh -huh. so like like they would just see me and then they'll be like oh my goodness that girl has just one hand mm -hmm. and and what what does she do mm -hmm. and then i would just take that as a, uh, an advantage and be like i can do anything you mm -hmm. see like you should not see me different or whatnot yeah i was not bullied mm -hmm. like normal bullying yeah. just yeah. Well, and so where did you go to campus and what did you study in campus? Uh, I went to campus in Pwani University. Uh -huh. It's in Coast. Uh -huh. I, stud I studied computer science, diploma in computer science. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I graduated in 2019. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so how was life generally growing up now that uh, I was listening to some of your stories before <laughs> and uh, you mentioned somewhere that your dad took off when you were around eight years yeah so yeah. how was life being raised by a single mother and you're a child living with disability uh i want to say as you say this is woman Str strength of a woman yeah yeah strength of a woman yeah yeah that is indeed a strength of a woman like she's so strong mm -hmm. like i i don't know how she did it mm -hmm. but she did it mm -hmm. <laughs> you get yeah 
like uh, you see when when you're in the playgrounds you, you see fathers with their children and then I'll be like oh my god mm -hmm. I wish that was me or what mm -hmm. but my mom was there for me through thick and thin like mm -hmm. I I cannot per se remember even if the the years that my dad was there like I cannot per se remember if I had any good memories of him you mm -hmm. get mm -hmm. mm, my mom my mom I have good memories of my mom. I have like the best memories. Like even when I face something, I go to her and be like, "Mami, this is You see, mm. and then she was like, "It's just beautiful. Like it's just you. you yeah, see? you're beautiful like you are. Right? Yeah, exactly. You're uh -huh. beautiful like you are. Uh -huh. You see, like I, I don't think my mom treated me with a disability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like she just saw me as a normal person. My family per se, mm -hmm. like they did not treat me with a disability mm -hmm. because they did not exclude me from other things mm -hmm. like i remember in uh, when i was a little bit small mm -hmm. i wanted to play the swing with other kids you see yeah. in the swing you have to sit and balance with your two hands and then hold the <laughs> yeah. rock yeah. and then swing you see i don't have balance per se i think i don't have balance mm -hmm. so so my friends are like zipi utaumia don't don't try that zipi utaumia and then i was like no i'll have to do it mm -hmm. because i'll have to prove to you that i can, I do, can it. do it i sat there yeah i did fall down yeah I did fall down, oh, <laughs> but <sorry. laughs> but yeah, it was just I did fall down. I went to my mom, and she was like, "What were you thinking? Uh -huh. Like going on that swing?" And then I was like, "I don't know. I just wanted to be like like other children." Yeah, I wanted to be like other children, like they can do other games that I cannot do. Why should I not do other games? And then my mom was like, "Just play, like mm -hmm. just enjoy yourself. Just play. You're still a child." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so. Uh, Okay, uh, uh, your, your, your first born in your family or your second born or how many are you in your family? Uh, our family has two. Uh -huh. I'm the first born uh -huh. and then the last born is a guy, is a boy. Uh -huh. He's around 13. Uh -huh. So there's that huge gap difference wow. and the sibling rivalry and everything. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> now that you have one hand and yeah, yeah, sour. Actually, uh -huh. uh, yeah, yeah, and I know how to sour, but my, my, my nephews, I have nephews. Mm -hmm. Like, one of them, when he was so small, he was, a certain day, he just started crying. Mm -hmm. Then I was like, Marcus, mm -hmm. Then I was like, I just want to take off my hand and give it to you. Like, how can you be living with one hand? And then it just touched me. And I was just sitting there, mm -hmm. wondering, how do I explain to this child, mm -hmm. this small baby, that you cannot just plug out your arm, mm -hmm. like a dolly, and then plug it back in. But like he cried the entire day. Like mm -hmm. he's so massive. He was like, I just want to give you my hand mm -hmm. because I see like you're struggling a lot and everything. But with time, he's like, eh, ZP, you're the coolest person I've ever seen. Like, how do you do this? How do you do this? He's mm -hmm. just so amazed with everything. Mm -hmm. my, my brother, um, actually the other day I asked him, do you view me differently? Because now he's, he's grown up, Kidogo, he's yeah. 13. Yeah. So he was like, actually, me, I don't see anything different with you. Uh -huh. But every time my friends just, you see, I go to their school. He's in boarding. Yeah. I go to their school. And then he's like, every time my friends ask me, what's wrong with your sister? Yeah. Does she do this and this and this? And then I'm like, actually, she does everything so perfect. Like uh -huh. everything in her is just perfect. Uh -huh. Like I don't view her like with a person with one hand. It does not. He does not understand the term disability, but now what? I think so. He says that he does not view with me with one hand, uh -huh. he just sees me with like ZP, yeah, just as simple as ZP, uh -huh. yeah. And so, speaking of doing everything like any other person, mm -hmm. how do you go around cooking? Ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I cook, you see, uh -huh. I, I tend to think like God makes no mistakes. Uh -huh. So, if if you see in like let's say in blind people when you don't have vision you're given with the sixth sense like all your other senses zina enlightened uh -huh. you see so with me i don't have the left hand but with time uh -huh. i decided i with training i think with training i might just kicked in uh -huh. i started doing things with my with my left leg like wow. i can just cook with my left leg wash uh -huh. with my left leg yeah uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And so speaking of doing things like cooking in your left leg, <laughs> uh -huh. there is this type of people when mm -hmm. you are a ukimpatia kitu with the left hand, it will be like, ah, 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 na mkono mzuri, ah. ni mkono ya cho. So I can imagine you cooking with your left, okay, using your leg as the other hand. Uh -huh. Have you met such people when you are a kai, miss yezi kula chakula, mekatwa na mkua. <laughs> Actually, speaking of that, uh, yesterday I posted a clip of me cutting vegetables yeah. on TikTok. And then people are like, ah, 
till not to mboga mara moja and then i was like eh hey, exactly but sasa wezi nua mboga na nua nyanya but it's something that i enjoy doing mm -hmm. like you can't stop me from doing that yes. actually it's Because your choice you can buy mboga and you make katwa but you can't buy onion eh you need make katwa exactly that is my point yeah. but okay you can get that hiyo kitu kata kata ma vitu mm -hmm. but sasa seme like kama unataka ikata in a certain way like it's something that i enjoy doing mm -hmm. so like it's it's your own decision that you as a person kama utakula chakula yangu ni sawa but yeah. everyone that i cook for my food says that is the best food uh -huh. no bragging though but yeah. <laughs> is the sweetest food and yeah i've not faced that per se but initially like in in campus mm -hmm. you see when you have friends over and everything like i was so skeptical about cooking for people mm -hmm. you see i would also have the same mindset that they will say that ah i'm a pick and i'm good see the cooler you mm -hmm. see like so majority of my friends actually the first time they saw me do anything was when i started a youtube channel and then they were like haja zipi you can cook even my family like you could just get a shock mm -hmm. like my cousin the other day she was like oh my goodness i'm watching a video of you cooking you're sure your gali liver and then i'm like You're serious like okay. you you make us and she was like honestly I've never seen you cook kabisa kabisa because at home mm -hmm. everyone is just there I'll just cook the rice the mm -hmm. stew viazi and everything but the ugali I just be like ah mtu mwingine apike you see and how do you cook ugali for you I just it's just the normal way but sasa kushika na shika na mguu na sijawahi chameka mguu but nimechameka mkono ukipika chapo and everything i know it's weird but eh nimechameka mkono but sijachameka mguu nikipika ugali wow eh so she was also shocked as you are that zipo unaweza pika ugali aje yeah yet yet unafaa kukamata eh kama kamata with the other hand mm -hmm. alafu But, ugeuze uh -huh. iwe vizuri uh -huh. yeah it turns out just great uh -huh. wow mm -hmm. and so the, there was somewhere you mentioned that uh, you you at times think that if you had both hands you'd be having a decent job have you uh, uh, underwent any form of discrimination as a person living with a disability before maybe in a job interview in a workplace mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I have. I have actually. My first job interview, it was not big, but it was something that I was looking forward to like to get extra cash and everything. Uh -huh. So my first job interview that day I was so so excited like ni kama mtu anaenda maju. So, so as I reached there, like uh -huh. the person I I passed the several like so you know kuna kuchujwa mara kadha. Uh -huh. So like nikachujwa the first time, the second time and the third time. Uh -huh. So on reaching like every time I just succeeded, I just passed through and every everything. Uh -huh. So on reaching the final stage where the manager, I think it's the manager talks uh -huh. to you and everything. The guy was like, you know, I had not seen myself as a disability in those in yes. those other nini like i was not in those other stages stages, stages yeah. i was not being eliminated yeah so the guy the guy was like mm, so i uh, i want someone who can type can you type i was shocked like yeah mm -hmm. i can type yeah. i did computer science so do you expect i've yeah. given you my cv and everything funny enough i was the one i was the only one among around 200 people with a decent cv with everything like my papers were well organized mm -hmm. and then i was like i've just given you my documents i mm -hmm. did a computer so i can't type you yeah. see yeah. i can type like i cannot go to a computer science class and not know how to type you see mm -hmm. and then the guy was like i want someone who types so fast can you type actually i was so shocked mm -hmm. i panicked i said yeah i can type fast mm -hmm. which is true i can't type fast uh -huh. but now the time he was giving me i panicked i said around five minutes and come to think of it five minutes is a lot mm -hmm. but yeah i w that time i was being discriminated of having a disability the person just said uh, i don't think you're going to be an asset to my company mm -hmm. because you have a disability you get wow. yeah I was shocked. Mm -hmm. That was the first time mm -hmm. I had faced said it on your face. Yeah, he said that I don't think I want you in my company because like you're going to be a liability. Yeah, exactly. You know, I have I had had so many stories like people saying that oh disabled people are being discriminated what mm -hmm. what what. But that time I faced it like face to face and then I was like oh mm -hmm. this really does happen in this society. Mm -hmm. Like it's the 21st century but How could you do that? Yeah. Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> as It's I said, yeah. <laughs> and you live to fight another day. Yeah, exactly. And maybe God had had some other purpose in main life. Mm -hmm. So yeah, God makes no mistakes. Wow. Yeah. 
And so do you think that the government is doing enough to protect or rather cater for people living with disability? Oh my goodness. So, mm -hmm. mm, I think the, gov the government is doing something, not enough per se, mm -hmm. because like for people with disabilities, like, you know, it's not just the physical disability, there's the hearing, mm -hmm. there's the other dis types of disabilities. Mm -hmm. Like, let's say in, uh, in the blind people, they're being issued with the canes and everything. But like in other people, it's not, it does not per se, how can I put it? I, it's not there. It's there, but I go, you mm -hmm, get. Mm -hmm. So, Kamba, as for me, mm -hmm. mm, I don't think I've ever benefit, benefited from the government. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do have a card of disability. Yes, I'm a registered member of National Council of Disability. Mm -hmm. But, like, I don't think that it's, it gives us other other opportunities as much as the opportunities are there but i love that the government nowadays mm -hmm. it has opportunities set aside for people with disabilities that means that they have their mindset i've come to think of that the people with disabilities are also human beings you mm -hmm. get mm -hmm. initially i think it was just a big issue that's a big step for them yeah so but other than that uh, they really have to work hard on what they are doing like hard and better but yeah, wherever the the things that the small things that they are doing, mm -hmm. it's just okay because they are offering sunscreen to be to be with albinism. They are offering the cans. They are offering mobile mobility devices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in other cases, they need to do better. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they are doing something. Oh. which is a good start. Well, mm -hmm. So moving on, let's talk about your hustle. Mm -hmm. I can see the t-shirt you're putting on. Yeah. Be your own kind of beautiful. Uh -huh. So you do customized t-shirts. Yeah, I do customized t-shirts because uh -huh. I tend to think that with or without a disability, people like as, as a person, you feel that you're not your own kind of beautiful. There are times where you feel that, ah, I'm not pretty like she was. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm just a plus size. I wish I was plus uh, size four. I'm size 14. Uh -huh. So I sell these t-shirts uh -huh. saying be your own kind of beautiful uh -huh. because you cannot compare yourself to any other. Mm -hmm. Faith, you're beautiful the way you are. I'm beautiful the way I am. Exactly. Like, yeah. So we won't be the same. If you're the same, like, there won't be another Faith. There won't be another Zipporah. Yes. See? So, yeah, I make this T-shirt saying you should be your own person, mm -hmm. you should be your own kind of beautiful. Wow. Yeah. And you run a YouTube channel too. Oh, yeah, I do Talk run about a YouTube. it. Uh, I do run a YouTube channel. Uh -huh. It's Ziporongera, a uh -huh. YouTube channel. Uh, it's, it's a space where I, I talk about living with a disability, where we remind each other, me and my fans, me mm -hmm. and my viewers, mm -hmm. we remind each other that we are in this world for a purpose. Like mm -hmm. you might feel that you're down at some point. You might feel that you're not doing something in life. Mm -hmm. But remember, God makes no mistakes. Mm -hmm. He made you the way you are. Mm -hmm. You're unique. So mm -hmm. in that channel, we remind each other about that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I show people how I do things per se, wash clothes and everything. Those that won't ask me. Mm -hmm. So I just show them how I'll do it on a normal day. Well, yeah. And for someone who is watching you this morning and would wish to support you, where can he or she get your customized t-shirt? Uh, you can get my customized t-shirts at Instagram or mm -hmm. Facebook at mm -hmm. awesome underscore with underscore flaws. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can get them there. They come in three colors, mm -hmm. white, mm -hmm. mustard, and black. So I'm wearing the black one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also have uh, other t-shirts. It's written flaws. Um, Flossum meaning awesome with flaws, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. and so uh, we almost coming to the end of the show, uh -huh. but uh, before we get there, uh, I would like you to talk to someone out there mm -hmm. who is living with disabili disability, sorry, mm -hmm. and uh, he feels like it's the end, like he can't do anything else, and wanna like this is the end of me. Mm -hmm. Talk to that young girl out there or boy out there who sees that mimi kama ningekuwa na mikono mbili ndio ningefanya one two three. But now that I don't, mm -hmm. my world is crumbling. End. Yeah, crumbled. Mm, so I want to say that you out there that you think that the world is crumbling, the world is not. Like you just have to change your mindset. Just remember that you are your own person. Like no one can compare to you. Like you faced many obstacles that people have not faced. So like if if you manage to reach a certain age, now what maybe people 
so that you won't reach it and you reached it, please just continue. Please continue being your own kind of beautiful. You will conquer this world. The world is beautiful outside there. The world is big. It's big enough for everyone, for everyone to fit in it. So, and remember to be your own kind of beautiful. Like God makes no mistakes. You're in this act for a purpose, a good purpose, actually. So your time will come. If you feel that it has not come yet, your time will still come. Wow. Yeah. So uh, remind people your social media handles. Oh, uh, OK. Uh, at YouTube, I'm Zipora Ongera. At Instagram, at, um, at Ensini or Zipora Nyaboke. At TikTok, I'm at Ensini. And then at Facebook, I'm at Zipora Nyaboke. And please remember to buy my t-shirts. Remember to support a, a small business person and remember to be your own kind of beautiful. Wow. Well, mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you so much, Faith, for having me. Wow. Okay. And so they say that when your path is so difficult, then your calling might just be higher. Thank you for watching. I've been your host, Faith Msoli. Kayesu is up next with Girl Stock.